We just covered a few of the principles of direct fire, planning, and control. We talked about massing the effects of fire, destroying the greatest threat first, avoiding target overkill, and employing the best weapon for the specific target. So let's go over the next four principles. Number five, you want to minimize your exposure. This is about survivability, and we increase our chances of surviving by exposing soldiers to the enemy only to what is necessary to engage him effectively. Defilade, which is the protection from hostile observation and fire provided by an obstacle like a hill or a ridge, provides the best cover from lethal direct fire. Dismounted soldiers look for available cover and attempt to engage from a flank, disperse forces, fire from multiple positions, and limit their engagement times. Next, you have to plan and implement fratricide and friendly fire avoidance measures. Training is key here. Train to identify enemy vehicles and aircraft as well as train on your unit weapon safety posture. Use the common operating picture or COP. With that, you'll have range cards, an area sketch, and then plan for rehearsals. All are good ways to mitigate the risks of fratricide. And then you want to plan for limited visibility conditions. Even at night, the company can engage targets at nearly the same range as during the day. But when there's dense fog, heavy smoke, or blowing sand, your target acquisition equipment may have reduced capabilities. The firing points may have to be adjusted closer to the point of focus fires. And this is where knowing the capabilities and locations of adjacent or higher units can be helpful. Maybe your position will have limited visibility, but your sister unit might be able to cover down. Finally, plan on degraded capabilities. Have a backup plan in the event of casualties, weapons damage, or failure. Build in some redundancy to have the plan. For example, have more than one system observe the same area. Designate alternate sectors of fire as another redundancy effort. So those are the principles of direct fire planning and control. Open up ATP 3-21.10, Infantry Rifle Company Appendix Charlie, to learn more about direct fire planning. And you can download your doctrine from the Army Publishing Director at website at armypubs.army.mil.